Did you know that the prestigious Michelin Guide, renowned for its discerning taste and meticulous standards, has yet to bestow a single Michelin star upon any restaurant in Africa? This startling fact begs the question, why does the African continent remain conspicuously absent from the coveted list of Michelin-starred establishments? The Michelin Guide, initially conceived by the French tire company Michelin in 1900, emerged as a strategic marketing tool aimed at promoting automobile travel and consequently tire sales. It began as a compact guide providing practical information for motorists, including maps, tire repair tips, and lists of hotels and restaurants along popular routes. Over time, the guide evolved into a symbol of culinary excellence, with Michelin stars becoming the most coveted accolades in the culinary world. Today, the Michelin Guide is published in numerous editions covering cities, regions, and countries across the globe, and its star ratings are considered the ultimate benchmark of quality in fine dining. As the guide gained prominence, the criteria for awarding Michelin stars became increasingly stringent. Michelin's anonymous inspectors are trained to evaluate restaurants with exacting standards, considering every aspect of the dining experience. They assess the quality of ingredients, the skill and creativity of the chefs, the precision of cooking techniques, and the consistency of service. A restaurant must consistently exceed expectations in all these areas to earn a coveted Michelin star. To earn a Michelin star, a restaurant must meet exceptionally high standards across all aspects of its operation. Michelin inspectors undergo rigorous training to develop their palates and hone their skills in evaluating restaurants objectively. They assess everything from the quality of ingredients and the mastery of cooking techniques to the consistency of service and the ambiance of the dining experience. The criteria for awarding stars are deliberately stringent, reflecting Michelin's commitment to recognizing only the very best establishments in each culinary destination. Despite Africa's rich culinary traditions and diverse gastronomic landscape, several challenges have hindered its representation in the Michelin Guide. One significant barrier is the limited availability of high-quality ingredients, particularly those that are considered essential in fine dining establishments. While Africa boasts an abundance of unique and flavorful ingredients such as indigenous grains, fruits, and spices, accessing premium imported ingredients can be costly and logistically challenging for many restaurants on the continent. Additionally, the lack of exposure and recognition on the international stage has often marginalized African restaurants, making it difficult for them to compete with their counterparts in other parts of the world. Hello there, fellow foodies! Did you know that 99.8% of our viewers are not subscribed? If you've enjoyed this journey into the world of exotic delicacies, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our World Eats community and never miss out on our culinary adventures. We've got a lot more delicious content coming your way, exploring luxury dining across the globe. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and let's continue this food journey together. Now, let's get back to the video. The Michelin Guide has traditionally focused on European and North American cuisines, with relatively little attention paid to other regions of the world. This Eurocentric bias has undoubtedly contributed to Africa's underrepresentation in the guide. Despite the continent's rich culinary heritage and diverse array of cuisines, African restaurants have often been overlooked in favor of more familiar and mainstream cuisines. As a result, many talented African chefs and restaurateurs have struggled to gain the recognition they deserve on the global stage. The Eurocentric bias of the Michelin Guide has not gone unnoticed, prompting calls for greater diversity and inclusivity in its evaluation criteria. Critics argue that the guide's focus on traditional European cuisines and its reluctance to explore more diverse culinary landscapes have perpetuated inequalities within the industry. In recent years, there have been efforts to broaden the scope of the Michelin Guide to include a more diverse range of cuisines and culinary traditions. However, progress has been slow, and many African chefs and restaurateurs continue to feel overlooked and marginalized by the guide's selection process. Despite these challenges, there is hope that increased awareness and advocacy for diversity in the culinary world will lead to greater recognition and representation for African restaurants in the future. Nevertheless, Africa's culinary scene is experiencing a renaissance, fueled by a growing appreciation for indigenous ingredients and innovative cooking techniques. 
Across the continent, talented chefs are drawing inspiration from local traditions while embracing global culinary trends, resulting in a fusion of flavors that captivates diners' palates. From Nairobi's thriving food markets to Johannesburg's burgeoning restaurant scene, Africa's culinary landscape is ripe with potential for Michelin recognition. Moreover, initiatives such as culinary exchanges and collaborations between Africa and international chefs are helping to showcase the richness and diversity of African cuisine to a global audience. These efforts are not only raising the profile of African restaurants, but also challenging long-standing stereotypes and misconceptions about African food. To elevate African restaurants to Michelin-starred status, concerted efforts are needed to address the barriers they face. This includes investing in culinary education and training programs to cultivate a new generation of talented chefs who can compete on the global stage. Additionally, governments and industry stakeholders can play a role in supporting the development of culinary sector by providing incentives and resources for restaurant owners and chefs. Moreover, initiatives that promote African cuisine on the global stage, such as food festivals, culinary tours, and international culinary competitions can help raise awareness and appreciation for the continent's diverse culinary heritage. By working together to overcome these challenges, Africa can claim its rightful place among the world's culinary elite, and Michelin-starred restaurants can become a symbol of the continent's culinary excellence and innovation. Join us in celebrating the richness and diversity of African cuisine by exploring local restaurants and culinary traditions. Share your thoughts on why Africa has yet to claim its place among Michelin-starred establishments and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content on culinary diversity and the ever-evolving world of fine dining. Together, let us support and celebrate the culinary talents of Africa, ensuring that they receive the recognition they deserve on the global stage. And if this journey through the wonders of how Michelin star are distributed globally, then you have to watch this video next.